Hello everybody and welcome back. In today's video we're going to be going through the installation process of a subscriber node in a Cisco UCM UC cluster. In the first video we walked through the installation process of the first node or the publisher. So if you haven't watched that yet I suggest you go back to that first video and take a quick look and then come back over here. Now let's jump into it and take a look at how we install a subscriber node in a Cisco UCM cluster. Now the very first thing that we have to do before we start the installation process of our subscriber is actually add that subscriber node to our publisher node. Now you may recall from the previous video when we added uh, or when we were installing CUCM, we were prompted whether this was the first node in the cluster or not. Since it was the publisher, it was the first node in the cluster. However, now when we go through and add the subscriber node, if we don't do this first, as CUCM goes through its uh, connectivity and security checks, it will fail and the subscriber will not install. So it's very important that we go here and we add the subscriber node before we start the installation process. So as we go into servers, we'll see um, our existing server. What we want to do is add a new server, make sure the Cisco voice and video server selected, not I am a presence. Uh, we want to add the IP address of the subscriber node and we can leave that all blank and then the fully qualified domain name uh, what that is going to be so we'll go ahead and save that and you can see that that subscriber node is now added and we're ready to start the installation of uh, the subscriber node so as you see here a lot of this is going to look very familiar uh, because the installation process of a subscriber node and a publisher node, again, are very, very similar. The only difference being is that when we're prompted of, is this going to be the first node in the cluster or not, rather than selecting yes, we're going to select no. So again, this process, you know, the full installation of CUCM, as you can see here, again, doing the media check as we did before um, with the publisher node, uh, the full installation process, again, can take anywhere from 45 minutes upwards of an hour plus. Again, it all depends on how large of a cluster that you're installing in the environment. And as you can see here, again, configuring the basic network information, host name, IP address. Again, once again, asking us, do we want to enable this for DHCP? No, we don't. Not at this time. Uh, Again, you want to enable DNS because there are a lot of uh, integrations and applications um, that have a strong reliance on DNS. Uh, so we want to make sure that we have DNS up and running and working properly within the environment. And then once we fill this out, we're going to be prompted, is this going to be the first node in the cluster? Now, as I said before, when we installed the publisher, yes, that was the first node in the cluster. However, since this is going to be a subscriber node, this is not the first node in the cluster. And then back to when we first got started in this video, as I said, you have to add the subscriber node to the publisher server first. This is what that warning is all about. If this is not the first node in the cluster, you must first configure this server on the first node before you can proceed. Because again, if it's not configured on that first node, the network connectivity check will fail, the security check will fail, everything will fail, and you'll just keep spinning your wheels and going in circles. Um, so we wanna select okay, because we did that already. This is just saying whether or not the uh, installation pro process should start now, or if we wanna wait to a, um, to a maintenance window. So we're gonna go ahead and select no. Uh, we're gonna start it now. So we want to input the host name, IP address of that first node, that publisher node, and then that security password that we created. Um, this was when we first installed the first node in CUCM and there was that security password option. Uh, that's why this is important because you need that security password in order to, um, in order to make that connection between the subscriber node and the publisher node. So this is just warning us, everything's complete, and CUCM is gonna begin that installation process. 
All right, with a little movie magic, we're able to get through that installation process. As I said before, it could take anywhere 45 minutes you know, plus, depending on the size of your uh, deployment. Again, we're prompted with the CLI once the installation process is over. Uh, we're going to go ahead and log in. Uh, once again, we're not going to spend a whole lot of time here. Uh, if you do want to see a deeper dive into what you can actually do in the CLI of Communications Manager, leave the comments down below. I'm happy to put something like that together for you all. So again, when we first log in, it is going to take a minute or two uh, just because it's getting all the services and whatnot going. So as you can see the hardware, and then we're prompted, we can hit use the question mark to give us all our available um, commands that we can use here at the CLI level. Now that we verified CLI, let's log into the web interface. Again, to do this, you just browse to the IP address of your subscriber node uh, in this case, and we verify that we can log in and we can move around between, uh, between menus since everything's working correctly. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Um, if there are any questions that you feel that need to be answered that I didn't answer, drop them in the comments below. Happy to answer them there. And again, if you like this, hit the like button. And if you're ready to see more videos like this, uh, hit the subscribe because we're going to be doing a lot more here in the future. Thank you.